Hello, my name is Rana M. Santos, and I'm a visual arts teaching artist and a creative aging trainer for Lifetime Arts. Teaching artists carry program content and ideas for a variety of ages and formats at their fingertips. In creative aging programming, each program should be sensitive to the culture and needs of the community it is serving. In order to design and provide responsive programming, you will need additional information. Ideally, your organizational partner will have surveyed their patrons and shared information with you so you can design a class to be responsive to the people you will be working with. During your initial site visit, you will have an additional opportunity to observe and meet participants and raise questions with the organizational leadership. If you are able, offering a one-off introductory workshop can assist you in uncovering additional interests and needs of the community, effective teaching approaches, and assist you in discovering ways to enter the community. Communities can vary widely, so you will need to consider the culture of each community you enter as you develop your program. You want to avoid forcing an agenda on a community and work with them to build a partnership that is organic and meets each of your goals. Here are some questions for you to consider as you prepare for an initial planning meeting. What is the community like? Genders, who is there? What is the building like that you are visiting? What are the space program needs, accessibility needs for you and the participants? What is the vibe like? Is it a quiet community, active? Are there other programs happening there? If so, what kind and when? What is the neighborhood like? What languages are spoken within the community? Before approaching program design, it's important to keep the community that you are trying to reach in mind. A few questions to ask yourself at the very start of the process. Am I the right person to teach this particular class or for this particular community? For instance, teaching artists should speak the same language of the participants in the program. If the majority of the community speaks Spanish, it is important that you speak Spanish. How might I adjust my curriculum to fit with this community's interests and cultural background to be sure it is relevant to them? What art forms might be culturally appealing to the community? Ask them if you don't know. What information would you need about your students to design your online or phone program? When working with adult learners, teaching artists should consider themselves in partnership with their students. In adult programming, this manifests in flexibility and responsiveness to students. You come with ideas, but are ready to make changes needed. For example, in a music class, you plan to teach with a focus on 40s tunes, but once you get into the room, you realize the students are much more interested in the Beatles. You now adjust to their interests. Connect your program content to the participants' lives. No matter which art form you teach, consider including references and examples that mirror the cultures of the community. For an example, in a visual arts class, an image survey should include work reflecting the participants' interests and cultures. A responsive, culturally aware teaching artist has intangible qualities and skills that support their work in teaching and creative aging. They are willing to go the extra mile from start to finish of the program to meet the interests and needs of their students. They problem solve and collaborate with each other to benefit students' learning, skill building, and social engagements. Enthusiasm for working with older adults results in their advocacy for the 55 and better community. They mentor confidence, skill, self-worth, through their teaching with humor, compassion, flexibility, and patience in partnership with their students. 